Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. At Christmas, we rejoice that Jesus was born among us. Still more, we rejoice that he calls us as we are, and so we ask for mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and fullness of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us give the Lord glory and praise. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Let us pray. O God, who have made this most sacred night radiant with the splendor of true light, grant we pray that we who have known the mysteries of his light on earth may also delight in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You've brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as a rejoice before you is at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them the pole on their shoulder and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for flames. 
For a child is born to us. A son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age. As we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people of his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you lord In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius 
was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you great good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tonight is a glorious night, a powerful night for us and for the whole world as Jesus Christ, the Son of God and Son of Man, is born to us in Bethlehem, the Savior that had been predicted by the prophets for hundreds of years, the one who would bring the world back to him. This event took place 2,000 years ago, but God is not limited by space or time, so this powerful moment of Christ's birth to us is taking place right now. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Jesus Christ is born to the Virgin Mary in a stable in Bethlehem because there is no room in the inn. The Christ, the Son of God, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, is born in a stable, humble beginnings for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, who continued to humble himself throughout his life. Jesus Christ is with us now and forever. Our Savior is with us now and always. And he is present to us in a very profound way this holy night. In tonight's reading from the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah, he tells us, as the prophet forecasts the coming of the Christ, that the people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. In God's providential time, he sent his son into the world for our salvation and redemption, to bring all humanity back to him. But because if we are left to ourselves, we fall into darkness. All of us need the light that no darkness can overcome. And that light is Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, and the one and only way to salvation. The prophet tells us again, forecasting the coming of Christ into the world, that you have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. When we rely on Christ, when we trust in him and follow him, we are filled with great rejoicing because the power of love is in our hearts. And God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. The power of love, peace, and abundant joy is with us tonight as the Son of God is born to us. A Savior is born to us. Trust in Him, walk with Him, and be at peace in your lives. The prophet continues, they name Him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, for Father Forever, Prince of Peace. The world is full of wonder on this holy night. Innocence is reborn. Truth Himself 
and abundant joy is present to all of us and to the whole world as the greatest counselor in the history of the world is born to us because he is a counselor of love, of peace, of forgiveness, and joy. Because the definition of love is Jesus first, others second, you third. Jesus first, others second, you third. May all of us have the mind and attitude of Christ in everything that we say and do. The Lord is known as God hero. He is the Lord for all time, the second person of the Trinity, and the Son of God who came to the world as an infant to bring us back to him. Jesus Christ is our hero because he gave us his all to prove the power of his love and mercy to all of us. Jesus Christ is Father forever. The mystery of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is a great mystery in the church. The Trinity, God, has been for all time and will be for all eternity. Jesus Christ is the King of kings and Lord of lords, and he is Father forever. And Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Jesus Christ is a name above every other name. The most powerful two words in civilization is Jesus Christ. In moments of doubts, fears, and anxieties, say the name Jesus Christ, say it reverently, whether in your heart or out loud. He is the King of Peace. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth. And he is born to us tonight. Let us rejoice and be glad. In tonight's reading from the letter of Paul to Titus, Paul states, the grace of God has appeared, offering salvation to all men. It was he who sacrificed himself for us, to redeem us from all unrighteousness. Tonight, the world has been given the greatest gift in the world as the Son of God is born to us, a Savior and Lord, for which he offers us salvation, a gift that we can take or not take. And 33 years later, the Christ child was born to us tonight would suffer and die on the cross for all of us because he gave us his all, his passion, his death, and his resurrection to show there is nothing greater than the power of love, who is Jesus Christ himself. Let us be the people of love that the Lord calls us to be. In tonight's gospel from the Apostle Luke, he talks about the census that is taken for the whole world by Caesar Augustus. The Roman Emperor reigned from 27 BC to 14 AD, some 41 years. Caesar Augustus was regarded in the Roman Empire as a savior and God. His reign throughout the region was a time of peace. In God's providential time, he sends his son, the true savior and God and king of peace, to redeem us and bring us back to him. Joseph, the foster father, the son of God, a righteous man, obedient to the law, travels from Nazareth to Bethlehem to register he and his wife Mary in the census, because Joseph was of the lineage of King David, and Mary, as we know, was with child. Soon after, Mary gives birth to the Christ in the stable in Bethlehem, and the world experiences a peace that has never been experienced before. Shepherds in the fields, watching their flocks, and the angel of the Lord appears as the as the glory of the Lord shone around them, as the glory of the Lord shone around them. The shepherds have a heavenly experience with light and radiance around them, but they were afraid. The angel says to the shepherds and to all of us, 2,000 years later, you have nothing to fear. This day, this, this day in David's city, a Savior has been born to you, the Messiah and Lord. Then a multitude of the heavenly host was with the angel saying, Glory to God in high heaven, peace on earth to those on whom his favor rests. The shepherds again receive a heavenly experience, the light, the beauty, and peace that we live for every day of our lives to witness the heavenly reign for all eternity. The kingdom of God is in our hearts. Jesus Christ is in our hearts as the Savior is born to us this night. May the spirit of Christmas, the spirit of love, peace, and joy, the spirit of Jesus Christ himself reign in our hearts 
all the days of our lives. Merry Christmas, everyone. <clears throat> Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father for all the ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. Grace is God, Jesus has come to us so that we may come to him.
May they be heard, believed, and supported. We pray to the Lord. We pray for parents who welcome children into their lives. May they rejoice in God's gift of life. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all people who have difficulty making ends meet, especially those who struggle to afford the basic necessities of life. May they receive the care and assistance they need. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have died at Christmas time this year and in recent years. May they be welcomed into the everlasting peace of Christ. We pray to the Lord. this night, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Stand and face the font, please. God of every nation and people, from the very beginning of creation, you have made manifest your love. When our need for a Savior was great, you sent your Son to be born of the Virgin Mary. To our lives, he brings joy and peace, justice, mercy, and love. Lord, bless all who look upon this manger. May it remind us of the humble birth of Jesus and raise up our thoughts to him who is God with us and Savior all and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And bless this manger scene in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be seated.
Great brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we look forward, O oh Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly, for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. And just give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shown forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant our peace, to guard, unite, to governor throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Austin, our Bishop, and all those holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through the merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those who have chosen through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you're pleased to accept the gifts of the servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask the Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hand of your holy angel to her altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar Receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, and be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith to rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit we beseech you in their company not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, and sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and praise for you forever and ever. Formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul.
welcome all who are on live stream this night. We pray for all of you, and please pray for us as we continue to grow in holiness and love the Lord every day of our lives on this Christmas night, the most holy night of the year. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. <clears throat> Crown of mercy of God, that just as the Savior of the world, born this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so, may, so he may be the giver of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
Once again, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, some announcements here. We need ministers to serve at the 9 a.m. and the 5.30 p.m. Masses on December 31st and 9 a.m. Mass on January 1st. Sign up sheets are on the table in the gathering space. December 30th Mass is at 4.30 p.m. December 31st Masses are at 9 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. And January 1st Mass is at 9 a.m. There will be no Mass on December 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th, and no confessions on December 27th. The parish office will be closed December 25th through January 1st. Office hours will resume on January 2nd. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.